We begin tonight with voters heading to the polls for key races in three states. The outcome of these races will be shaped in terms of the future of both parties heading into the midterms. Voters are casting ballots in New York, Florida and Oklahoma. The Empire State is holding its second set of primary races this summer. And in Florida, voters will decide which Democrat will take on Florida Governor Ron DeSantis in the fall. In New York, Democrat Pat Ryan is facing off against Republican Mark Molinaro in a special election in the state's 19th congressional district. They're running to fill Antonio Delgado's seat, who left to become New York's lieutenant governor. Ulster County executive and Democratic candidate for Congress Pat Ryan joins us now in a note that we did reach out to his challenger, Mark Molinaro, but he was unable to join us on Red and Blue. Thanks so much for joining us, Pat. You have centered your campaign around the issue of abortion. What has your message been? Thanks for having me, Nicole. Look, fundamental rights and freedoms in our country are under threat. Front and center has been the direct assault on reproductive rights, women's access to safe abortions. Uh, and we have certainly made that a central part of this campaign, along with standing up and fighting for working families that are feeling tremendous economic pain and pressure right now. And our campaign is about the fact that we can and have to do both. I know a lot of people are looking at uh, this special election in the wake of Kansas and what happened there. Why do you think this issue of abortion in particular has resonated in this particular race? Well, I'm a proud West Point graduate. I served this country in combat, and, and I feel like I think a lot of Americans, this is a fundamental right and freedom. And when that is ripped away from people, they stand up across party. And we saw that certainly in Kansas. And we have felt that same energy, that same mobilization across 11 counties in this very large uh, congressional district. And that has really fired up uh, the momentum in our campaign. And uh, we're feeling really good now down the home stretch. I was out today and the energy is palpable uh, at the doors and people are, are really coming out to vote. And your race is being talked about as a potential bellwether for how Democrats might fare in the midterms. How do you see this race? Well, I, I'm certainly not a uh, political pundit or expert. I, I'm a guy who grew up in this district, graduated high school here, uh, graduated West Point here, raising my family here. And so for me, this is about we've got to stand up and fight for the community that's always had had my back. Uh, and that's really what we're doing here. And then uh, we'll, we'll let uh, smarter folks and I determine what that means for the, the broader country. And if you're successful tonight and eventually, potentially in November, what do you hope to bring here to Washington? I mean, number one, we just have to deliver. We have to provide relief to families right now. Uh, the first day I showed up at West Point, I was taught there are three acceptable answers to any question. Yes, no, and no excuse. And everybody across the country, across this district, feels like we're just getting a bunch of excuses and not getting the help that we need. Uh, we have started to see that really change and improve, especially with the CHIPS Act, with Inflation Reduction Act, with PACT Act. We are delivering for folks at the federal level. And I want to continue that work, uh, continue that momentum, and provide relief to folks while we stand up for their fundamental rights and freedoms, working to codify the protections of Roe at the federal level. All right. Congressional candidate Pat Ryan, thank you so much for your time tonight. Thanks, Nicole.